I'm going to show you how to make the auto release mechanism now. If it's still. I'm going to use an expression chip and I'll show you what the expression is here. I've already made the expression. I'm just going to put it over there. So I'm going to fetch it. And here it is. My label is trib. Uh, the inputs are button and gyro. The outputs are release. So in my first line, I say if the gyro is smaller than 20, the release is equal to zero. Now, the gyro is something we're going to put on the tip of the arm, you'll see now. The second line says if the button is equal to 1, the release is equal to 1. That means it'll grab it. Then it's going to go back to the first line and see if the gyro is smaller than 20. If it is, then it will release it. So there's our expression chip. Now we're going to go to gyroscope. Just find the gyroscope here. Now make your gyroscope on the tip of the arm. Then create a grabber uh, about there. Yeah, that's about right. Then I'm going to rope the grabber to the tip of the arm. So, rope. There we go. Now we need a button. The button just has to have an uh, on and off of 1 and that'll grab it and then it will release it. So we're going to wire this up. The expression chips button goes to button, gyro goes to gyro and output is pitch and the grabber you just wire to the expression chip and I'll put a trail on it. There we go. Now the expression chips should release it on time. There we go. Perfect. So you can see the expression chip released it. And yeah you can see the arm um, it's swayed around like that. That meant there was still a lot of energy left stored inside the counterweight over here. So not all the energy went into the pumpkin which is way over there now. Um, so basically if you can build one that store um, transfers all the energy inside the counterweight to the projectile, this arm would just stand still like that after it threw. Another thing people uh, tend to think is that they think if you increase the weight of the um, counterweight it would make the projectile go faster. Just keep in mind that everything falls at the same speed. I'm quickly going to draw you a curve to show how much it increases the speed of the projectile. So here is just like a little diagram showing how much the speed increases with the weight. Okay so say if you were to draw a line from there to there, that's like how much the weight increases by 10 kilograms, say, and that is how much the speed increases. Um, you can see if I increase the weight over here, it makes a dramatic effect on the speed, but as it goes about here, which is almost optimum, after the optimum, it doesn't really make much if you increase the weight by however amount you want, because eventually that thing's going to run almost straight. So you can have 50,000 tons on the one side and it won't make any difference about how far it will throw. Just a piece of useless information. Um, yeah, I'll quickly explain why the sling is there and how it increases the speed that the thing throws at. So I'm going to pull the arm down. Uh, 
and let's sling now I'm going, to s I'm going to set the physics time scale to very slow so you can see what happens with the sling and I'll just attach a pumpkin so press the button grabs it and you can see that now watch what happened okay what I've done to show you guys is I've added speedometers at the tip of the sling at the tip of the arm and at the counterweight so I'm going to release this and explain everything as it swings along so just watch the speech the counterweight is a hundred the tip speed of the arm is one thousand um, something but the sling is actually at two thousand so you can clearly see that the sling makes a major difference in the speed just look at that it's at one thousand something while the tip of the arm is just at five hundred the whole time uh, ignore that flow that was a bad throw it was because I didn't change the weight of the projectile that's another way you can control um, how early it releases or how flat the, tra uh, the trajectory of the projectile should be not just by changing the expression chip but by changing the weight if it's heavier it will swing over the arm faster i.e. releasing it at a more flat angle if it's um, lighter it would throw it more upwards Okay. I'm going to do that again but basically you could just see that the arm the sling really makes a major difference the sling added about 50% uh, uh, I mean a hundred percent more speed to it but by having a arm that's half as long so what we did with the sling was we compressed the trebuchet that would have been two times this thing size into something half of that thing's size and guys that play gmod hopefully aren't morons so you should understand I'm going to release it again that you see again I'm gonna make it even slower this time so what I have done is as I have added trails to the three key points and there so you can see how far each point has to travel and you can see there it goes now watch the distance that that little sling has to try and travel to catch up to all the other parts you can clearly see it has a much bigger distance to travel to get there at the same time so in other words if the short arm is four times shorter than the long arm the tip of the long arm will go four times as fast because it has four times the distance it has to travel to get there at the same time now with the sling it adds about seven times the length but it's been compressed to about half the size. Now if you'll just look at the speedometers again, you can clearly see whoops, what the hell? You can see the, clearly see the counterweight two hundred, the arm nine hundred, and the little tip is at three thousand. So it makes it go much faster. You can see the lines being drawn.